The Republic of Maldives is one of the smallest states in the world, comprised of over 1,000 small islands. Thanks to its booming tourism and fishing industries, the country's economy has been on the rise, with a GDP reaching almost eight times that of its neighboring countries. In the last decades, the Maldives has been heavily reliant on foreign workers to overcome labor shortages in the construction, tourism, healthcare, and education sectors, ranking as the country with the largest proportion of international migrants in South Asia. To successfully integrate an evidence-based policy approach to migration management, the government of the Maldives, with the IOM Development Fund support, has launched the Maldives Migration Profile. Drawing together relevant data on migration, this two-year initiative helps identify gaps in migration governance and gives practical recommendations to address them. Migration profile is to be a dynamic process that would ultimately spark stakeholder collaboration over time and also bring consensus around key policy areas of migration governance. We need to find the gaps and the loopholes we have in the system of the migration process, especially in the recruitment process. Tourism is the Maldives' leading economic sector, catering to over 1.3 million foreign tourists in 2017. Tourism establishments seek workers with specific skills that the local population may not have, such as language skills and familiarity with foreign customs. To encourage the employment of local workers, all resorts were initially subjected to an employment ratio of foreign to local workers. However, the proportion of foreign workers was eventually increased in response to difficulties in recruiting Maldivians in the tourist sector. There are a few positions where locals does not want to work in, mostly the laborers and low-level positions. They don't feel these jobs give them a high reputation in the community. And some positions like bartender, the policy is that no locals can work in the bars as a bartender. Different skill levels and types of occupations follow different recruitment procedures. Most skilled workers are usually recruited directly online or through recommendations from current staff while lesser skilled individuals are mostly recruited through agents and have to often bear the recruitment costs themselves. The reason why we use uh, agencies, one reason is because of the communicational barrier. We give them our requirements and then they send us uh, whatever applications they get. With 35% of the Maldivian population under 18 years old, education is a key area for social investment in the future. Even though the Maldives has a 98% literacy rate, students schooled outside the capital do not have access to the same quality of education due to the isolation of its islands. Until 2016, foreign teachers made up 55% of all teachers employed at lower secondary levels and 59% in higher secondary education. We had a time when we were almost entirely reliant on foreign teachers and doctors and nurses. There is a growth of uh, local skill, but even then uh, there is still a huge shortage in a number of areas. Private schools based in Malé are viewed as attractive and lucrative workplaces by foreign teachers resulting in a small staff turnover and an increased ability to handle direct applications. However, in the public sector, and particularly in distant atolls, the Ministry of Education has been relying on recruiting agencies due to the lack of capacity to handle high levels of staff turnover. Migrant teachers in distant atolls experience limited professional development opportunities, restrictions on geographical mobility, lack of proper conflict-solving mechanisms, and integration challenges. The Ministry of Education reliance on agencies for teacher recruitment has led to many challenges, including difficulties for job seekers to apply directly, the charging of excessive and unauthorized fees, and a lack of monitoring of recruitment practices. The Maldives has been experiencing a major shortage of healthcare personnel due to a lack of education and training opportunities in this area. Foreign health staff mainly come from Nepal, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and the Philippines, and in most recent years, from Egypt and Ukraine. To overcome difficulties in recruiting specialists and to build the capacity of healthcare workers, 
the major public hospital in the capital signed a 10-year MOU aiming to bring foreign doctors, nurses, and technicians. Overseeing all public health care facilities in the country, the Ministry of Health is the largest employer in remote community health centers and clinics. 80% of the foreign employees are in the clinical side and 98% of the doctors are foreign employees. The Ministry recruits most workers through agents because of the large number of vacancies to fill, difficulty in attracting workers to add to all clinics, and the Ministry's limited human resource capacities. The main challenges uh, for the Ministry of Health in recruiting foreign employees to the remote islands are uh, uh, because of uh, the high rotation due to the lack of uh, technological services and uh, other services including bank facilities, internet services. Some agents have been reportedly misinforming prospective workers on the actual working and living conditions in the atolls and altering recruitment fee statements. The ministry can blacklist unscrupulous Maldivian agents, but it has little insight and power over foreign recruitment agents due to a lack of bilateral cooperation with certain countries of origin. The Maldives Migration Profile will serve as a tool to develop evidence-based approaches to migration policy making and to design programs to address the report's key findings and recommendations. To learn more about the Maldives Migration Profile and other projects funded by the IOM Development Fund, please visit our website.